praise and glory to the name of Jesus. Welcome to the second day of journey from wilderness to Calvary. As we are in the second day of Lent, let's go through the readings. Before that, let me narrate a small story. A man got lost in the desert, walking and walking. He was so desperate to slack his thirst with a drink of water. Then he found a shack and entered to look for a water. There was no water except an old rusty water pump. He ran to it and pumped it, and no water came out. He staggered back, weak, discouraged. He squatted on the floor. He found a jug beside him. He took it and brushed the dust off the outside markings. You have to pour the water from this jug to make the pump work, was written on the jug. It was also written, be sure to refill the jug with the water for the next use. It said, thoughts were racing. Should I pour all the water? If so, what if the pump won't work? Or should I just bring the water? If so, what about the next user? If I pour on the water, I could lose everything. It could yield fresh cold water as well. If I just drink all the water, there won't be any water to pump out from the well. He thought for a while and then poured on the water. At first, no water came out, sounded the pump until finally water gushed forth. He had enough water for himself and for the next user. He took the jug and added the following words. Believe me, it really works. You have to give everything away before you can have a refill of good water. Yes, dearly beloved of God, we have to give everything away to live and prosper. The first reading from the book of Deuteronomy puts before us a choice or a challenge telling us whether you want to live or die. You want to have life or death. Life to all those people who sacrifice and follow the commandments. And death to all those who go according to their flesh. The same point is highlighted by Jesus in today's gospel taken from the Luke chapter 9 verses 20 to 25. Whoever would save his life will lose it and whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. Jesus lived, died and rose again for this great truth. He teaches us that many times the supreme sacrifice of dying is needed to bring about a new life. He says, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. My dear beloved of God, dying is manifested not only through violent death, it is also shown through a non-violent manner when we die to our selfish, selfishness day by day. St. John Mary Vianney, a noble saint, a pious saint, had love for God and the desire for, his, and desire for the salvation of the souls of his neighbors. And this led him to abstain almost completely from food and from sleep to carry out the hardest and harshest kinds of penances and to deny himself with great strength of soul. There are so many saints who have denied themselves, took up the cross and followed Jesus. In the same way, today we are invited, invited to renounce ourselves, take up our daily challenges and follow Christ. Amen.